afternoon and welcome to Unspoken. The Passover season is upon us. You guys call it Easter, but I think you know how I feel about that, that Easter is a pagan holiday. And the Jewish people, of course, celebrate uh, Passover. So, but today we cannot, oh Jesus, forget about the cross. And so I want to talk a little bit about the cross that Jesus died on. Okay, so let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 17 through 18, and then verses 22 through 23. And the word of the Lord says this, For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of no effect. Um, verses 22 through 24. For, Je for, for Jews request a sign, and Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ, hallelujah, crucified to the Jews, a stumbling block, and to the Greek, foolishness. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. But we preach, hallelujah, Christ crucified. So crucifixion was, is shameful. And, and listen to this. Cruci crucifixion is a specific expression of the inhumanity dormant within men. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. It is a manifestation of trans-subjective evil, a form of execution which manifests the demonic character of human cruelty and the beast-like nature of man. That was a quote by Martin Hengel. The Lord Jesus died on a tree of shame. So listen, listen to Melito's homily on the Passion. It says this. The master had been treated in unseemly fashion, his body naked and not even deemed worthy of covering, that his nakedness might be seen. Therefore, the lights of heaven turned away and the day darkened that it might hide him who was stripped of on, up on the cross, Lord Jesus. So he goes on to say that Jesus died limb by limb, letting out life drop by drop. Oh, because of the blood, the, the losing, losing life drop by drop. It means that it was his blood, God, that, that he was losing drop by drop. The whipping of, of fl flogging would make the blood flow uh, in the streams. In, in his streams, it would make the blood flow, uh, it would increase the, the flow of the blood when they were whipping him, oh Jesus. And so they whipped him all the way to the cross. And so, listen, listen, uh, John 12, 31 through 32 says this, Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be cast out, oh hallelujah, and I... If I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. So the ruler of this world, which means we're talking about the enemy, will be driven out, oh God, a victory that had to be won by the cross. Uh, Colossians 1, 11 through 14 says this. He delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed, conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sin. So He rescued us from the power of darkness. He broke the power of sin. He even broke the power of Caesar, O Rabbi Kashaya, because of His death. He, it wasn't puny, pretty people of God, Rabbi Kashaya. It was something that was horrific. He didn't stand, he didn't, he didn't have a loincloth on. He was naked. His skin was, 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 um, uh, the blood was coming out of his skin. And he did that all for you and me, oh Jesus. So, so listen, Hebrews chapter 9, um, uh, verses 14 and 15. 
But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, might taste death uh, for everyone. So he died in the Boshaya. So that, that so, and he, ta- that's why when we die, it's just a taste of death. Hallelujah. It, it, so the suffering uh, uh, denied us the afterlife. And so, and so Jesus came and he redeemed us, oh Jesus. So Yeshua flips the script when God raises him up from the dead. And so, listen, verse 14 and 15. Inasmuch did as the children have partaken of the flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same. That through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is the devil, and release those who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Hallelujah. He released us. From the bondage of death. Now we have a choice. Before he came, we didn't have a choice. So, 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 so listen. Uh, uh, crucifixion was the necessary path he had to get so that he could be seated in the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah. Listen, John uh, 21 and 6 says this. And he said to them, he's talking about to, to the disciples. Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some talking about fish. So they cast, and now they were not able to draw it in because of the multitude of the fish. Uh, he says, cast the net on the right side. The right side represents mercy. The right side represents his miraculous power. So he is seated on the right side of the Father. Jesus, listen, hallelujah. Exodus chapter uh, 15 and 6 says this. Oh, Rabbi Shah, that's the wrong scripture. Listen, Psalms 17, 6 through 7. I have called upon you, for you will hear me, O God. Incline your ear to hear and hear my speech. Show your marvelous loving kindness by your, listen, by your right hand, O you, O you who save those who trust in you. So we are to take refuge in what is already done. So when we come to that, when we come to um, the cross, when we come to that place where Jesus died, it is really a place of victory it, it, because of his strong right hand. Listen, the scripture says, in Psalms 89 and 13, you have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand and high is your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Mercy and truth goes before your face. Hallelujah. So God's power is in his right hand. He holds he holds our hand, I do Boshaya. He holds our hand so that we can partake of that power, Jesus. So no longer are we to be afraid of death. Because death means that we, if when we die in God, we have everlasting life. And so through that Roman crucifixion, Yeshua died. He, th- it, there was no no there was shame and, and there was dishonor in his death. But he redeemed us and he redeemed himself, his bodily resurrection resurrection shows us that death cannot hold us hallelujah that's something to praise god about hallelujah thank you jesus so 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 right now uh, uh the fear of death enslaves us and so as as you all know that i lost my mother and the fear of death which was trying to enslave me but i have a hope and that hope is that when when she died, she died in the Lord. So that says, I'm going to see her again. Honorable Koshaya. She made that transition. She was ready to make that transition to go home and be with the Father. Oh God. So so when we die, it's not Boshaya. It's not over. Oh It's not over, people of God. That's That's the miracle of the cross. That's the miracle of the resurrection. Because he came to give us life. Hallelujah. And life more abundantly. So we conquer Robo Koshaya. We conquer everything that comes at us. We conquer that through serving Christ. Because he conquered the ultimate enemy. He conquered death for us. Oh God. So so listen, during Passover, um, um, Ezekiel 37 and 3 is read. And so this is what it says. 
And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O oh Lord God, you know. So when Rebecca show you. So when you look at dead situations, when you look at things that's not working out in your life, you know that you have the power to speak to it because, because you are connected to somebody who gave you that power. He's holding you in his right hand. You can go forward because of who you serve. My God, we're never under the circumstances. We're always above it. You got to speak to it. <laughs> It'll stay around in your life till you speak to it. It'll cause you depression. It'll cause you fear. But you got to speak to it. He gave you the word. He says, he says, son of man, now he's, this is God asking Ezekiel, can these bones live? And so he said, oh, Lord God, you know. So if you go, if you continue in that chapter, you will begin to see that God, God speaks to the bones and they begin to come together. Hallelujah. Only a God, uh, only a God that made us can put us back together again. Hallelujah. So listen. During this time, during this season of crucifixion, because we, the Jewish people, call it Passover. And Passover was a miracle in itself. So, so, and I'm not going to go into Passover today because I've talked about it. But I want you to understand that Christ gave us the victory. Not only victory over death, victory over circumstances, victory over dead things in our lives, victory over things that you have forgotten about, victory over dead dreams. God has given God has given us the ability to speak to dead things and they'll begin to come to life. This is the season of the open door. This is the season that we can move forward when you're, when you're connected to God. There's no such thing as it. it's not going to happen. It will happen in his time. It will happen as you seek him. It will happen as you speak the word. And when you speak the word, God promises promises that it will not return void, but it will accomplish everything to what you sent it. Hallelujah. So listen, in this time, remember, don't get caught up in all the Easter eggs and all that. Remember the deed that Christ did. Remember the cross. Remember the crucifixion. And when you remember that, you begin to come back and say, I have the victory. Hallelujah. Listen, subscribe to us, like us. Shabbat Shalom.